Dear Matt, You used to think this was impossible. This moment, right here. Not too long ago either. You met Jerome six years ago. He'd done an Iron Man. And you thought, he's different than I am. And I'll never match up. But then you signed up for a half marathon. You'd never run more than five miles. But you did it. And then you signed up for a full marathon. And you didn't think you could do that either. But you finished. But afterwards, you were still scared, still searching for more. You felt you had limits, physically and mentally, that couldn't be surpassed. And again, you thought, those endurance athletes are just different from me. So you hung up your shoes and you stopped racing altogether. And then you met three guys, three new best friends. And soon enough, your brother joined the party. And suddenly, with their support, you felt that so much more was possible. So, you decided to sign up and throw yourself into it again. This time for something so terrifying, you didn't know if you'd finish. A half Iron Man. And a month before the race, you decided you couldn't do it. But Amar wouldn't have it. He said you have no choice, that you had to. He made you commit. So you found a crazy friend to join you and an inspiring mentor to guide your way. And after a month of intense training and seven straight hours of pure exhaustion, you finished. Once again, surrounded by love. <laughs> <laughs> and before you knew it, it was there, staring at you. The scariest dream that you've ever had. You couldn't avoid it. This beast of all beasts. The Iron Man. The fucking Iron Man. And you didn't understand why it was calling for you. But it wouldn't stop. A full day of hell on Earth. One of the toughest endurance events on the entire planet. Late at night in your dreams, you'd imagine the pain and the suffering it would take. You'd imagine what it'd be like to have the courage to do it. And despite the fear, you take that first step. You sign up. And you ask friends to join you, but this time, they think you're insane. But on one of the most inspiring days of your life, the day of the jump with Will Smith, you meet his personal trainer, Aaron, and you tell him about the race. You ask him if he'd be up for the challenge. He thinks about it for a bit, and then he comes up to you, and he says, let's do it. So, at the age of 46, Never having done an Iron Man before, Aaron is in for the ride. But unlike anything that you've ever done, he makes you understand that this isn't just a race. This is life, and we're gonna do it right. He explains that for the next six months, you will suffer by his side. You'll get scars, bruises, that you would experience discomfort on a level you never have before. That you'll be absent from most parts of your life. And on some days, you'll feel so fucking tired, you'd rather die. But these are the moments, right? These yeah. are the moments where you you don't want to do it and you do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's not worth it? Well, it's always worth it. It's just you won't want to get attached to the result. Mm -hmm. The result for us is who we get to be because of it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you finish or not. It matters that you put in the work to prepare yourself as best you can. It takes so much out of you. It's just so painful. And now I'm alone in this apartment talking to a camera and I have to go for a 40 minute run after that five hour and 15 minute bike ride. When you set goals like completing an Ironman in under 12 hours, that's my goal. You've heard it's hard, but it, you, you will never ever learn the incessant struggle, the constant stress, the heartbreak and the pain until you actually fucking do it. There are moments when you're just like, God, why did I sign up for this? And before I knew it, the day was finally here. 
If you're done here in the transition, you've got to this button. Be on the fucking other side, dude. No. <laughs> Won't be the same. And all I could think about was this one phone call with Aaron in a moment where I almost quit. What it is is the construct that we've created, our personalities, is so strong that you have to do something extreme to be able to transcend that, to be able to break through those things. Because we're so ingrained with our personalities and we believe that that's who we are. It's just when you do something of an extreme nature, like to the extent when you're doing an Iron Man, then you get to transcend that. You get to see what, what sits below that surface. You get to see that you actually have a choice, that there's something more than who you pretend to be. And whilst we're really attached to who we are as individuals, there's also so much more to life if we have that freedom of choice. Crush him, Eddie Fool. Get him, baby! Remember, you used to think this was impossible. <laughs>